Once upon a time, there was a girl called Isabella. Isabella was a really lovely girl. But her family, oh my God, was such a mess. Her family was so big that you don't have any clue. There were auntie, uncle, nephew, cousin, parents, grandparents, oh. But today, we are going to know about Isabella's stories and we are going to learn about family. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mirko and I'm your Italian tutor. If you're new to my videos, remember to subscribe to be Italian. However, if you're already a subscriber, remember to click the notification bell because every time I make a video for you, you are going to know. And the lesson of today is about family. La famiglia. And it's really important, especially in Italy. So the advice for me for today's lesson, please put your earplugs and watch the video several times because we are going to learn thousands of words. Second advice, be patient because Italian is a Spanish, Romanian, Portuguese and French are Latin language. So we are going to have different words if they refer to men or if they refer to women. However, we have also some words that they refer to both gender. This is not English where we can place in-law and bye-bye, but here you have to learn. So be careful on the endings. Then I draw a beautiful family tree. <laughs> I'm not an artist, so I apologize personally to all the artists that they spend all their life painting, drawing or whatsoever. I did my best. <laughs> so I will try to take my uh, whiteboard here with me, at least it's clear to see, but remember to forgive me for that. See you later! So now we are going to learn about Isabella's story. Our lovely Isabella is here. This is my beautiful draw, so sorry. <laughs> I did my best. Okay, so Isabella has got two parents, genitori, Marco e il papà, Maria e la mamma. And we have also two other expressions to identify our parents, okay? Because mamma e papà are in formal way. We can say padre or madre, but they're quite formal. So I wouldn't call my mom like madre. Passami il caffè. It's a little bit Shakespeare, theatrical. It's a little bit eh, eh. Most in English you wouldn't say mother. May I have a cup of coffee? I think only if you are really posh and you come from like, I don't know, the royal family, you would use the kind of expression. We would really simply say, Mamma, pass me caffè. Mom, pass me coffee. This young generation so rude, not respectful. Isabella has got a sister, Simona. In Italian, we don't have an expression, like a plural expression, when we want to say that our brother and sister, like siblings, or in German, Geschwister. So we would say Isabella e Simona sono sorelle, okay? Or Luca e Francesco sono fratelli, and they are. Or let's make another example. Isabella e Francesco sono fratello e sorella. Yes, yeah, boring and long, I know. What can we do? We don't like to make new words. Okay, Isabella wasn't a really good girl, even though I said lovely, but she wasn't really good because she had a relationship with Luca. So when we want to say that two people are together, in Italian we can say Isabella ha il ragazzo. Ragazzo, we can also use different expression like moroso, which I think come from the dialect, or in the north we can also say tipo which is a little bit awkward because it would sound like uh, Isabella has got a kind, literally translated, so it doesn't make really sense. But we are weird in the north, what can you do? So, they're not married, non sono sposati, okay? However, Isabella, Isabella, she was a naughty daughter because now she's pregnant. Isabella è incinta or Isabella aspetta un bambino. Aspetta un bambino, if we translate it literally, it would sound like 
she's waiting for a baby. I think it sounds a little bit weird to translate it like that because it sounds like a some kind of kidnapping. But not sure. You can please comment below <laughs> if you use this expression in English. Let me know. They don't know about the sex of the, the, the baby. So it can be Giovanni or Sonia. However, if you check on my Instagram, you can know the sex of the baby. But let's make an example only for today. It would be Sonia. Sonia would be la nipote. So nipote is that gender neutral word that refer when we are in the relationship between Sonia and the grandparents or Sonia and Simona. So you can basically use this word when you are talking to grandparents or auntie and uncle. Sonia è la nipote o Giovanni è il nipote. So only the article make us understand if it's a boy or if it's a girl, okay? The plural form of nipote, nipoti. So Sonia è la nipote di Simona, ma Simona è la zia di Sonia. Francesco è lo zio di Sonia. They are the grandparents of Sonia. So, Marco e Maria sono i nonni, nonni plurale. Nonno, nonna, plurale nonni. Okay. And now we are going to move to Simona. So, Simona è sposata con Francesco. Okay. They are married. However, unfortunately, they have some issues and they're going to divorce soon. So, Simona sta divorziando da Francesco. Loro non hanno figli. They don't have kids. But when the love is over, it's over. We cannot do anything, right? There is no family or whatever. It's better to follow your own path. Then, Francesco, at this stage, because they are still married, is il genero di Marco e Maria is the son-in-law. In English, you are going to use all these words in law. In Italian, unfortunately, no. So you have to learn. Genero. Genero if it's a boy. If it's a girl, nuora. Okay, so let's make an example. Even though Isabella is the daughter, but let's make an example. Isabella è la nuora di Marco e Maria. Okay. Loro sono i suoceri di Francesco, parents in law. Marco è il suocero, Maria è la suocera. Ok? And said, as I said before, Luca e Francesco sono fratelli. Luca è il cognato di Simona. Simona è la cognata di Luca, which in English is brother in law, sister in law. Okay, and I think it's all done, the family, I assume so, but if you have any doubts, you can place a comment below. So this is my lesson for today. I know it's a little bit chaotic, but unfortunately to learn family member, it's not so easy. I will put a, a description in the comment section below, at least you can review the lesson and about all these words. Remember to study. I will place also a small exercise regarding Isabella, just to understand to see if you understand the lesson. And if you have any question, please email me, text me, WhatsApp me, Instagram me, Facebook me. <laughs> Bye for now.